My name is Vahid Chitsas, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Absolutely, man. Uh, my name is Jamer. I'm tuning in from Philadelphia, PA. Um, extremely blessed, you know, just to be a part of the platform. Um, you know. Listen, yeah. I'm watching your, your IG page, man. You got some cool pictures. You got cool people in there. And one of your videos, you were just blasting everybody who's not in entrepreneurship. If they got nine to five, they watch that video. They're like, dude, I'm switching over. So let's yeah. talk about that. <laughs> so let's talk about that. When you initially experienced, you know, entrepreneurship and you let go of the nine to five, I don't think anybody enjoys nine to five secretly, but some people, they just have to make it work, which is cool. Some people got it. No problem. No doubt. You know, if you enjoy it and you're getting paid well and you're getting fulfillment, keep doing it. But what is your opinion or, or advice for people that, have not made the leap of faith and jump into entrepreneurship. Yeah, so so what I would say is, you know, entrepreneurship is definitely like something that I love now. Um, just because I can, you can control your own income, so you can depend on your own resources to get paid. Um, the nine to five, it just I always hated nine to fives. You know, going to work um, and just being told what to do, when to do, and clocking out, clocking in. It just, it just didn't, you know, fit right with me. Um, so just when starting out, I was just reaching out to different influencers and so forth, like going into their DM and just basically trying to serve them. Um, and I just continuously was doing that. Um, and then, you know, I got the opportunity one time from one of my mentors that's on my page now. And uh, he told me to connect with somebody else on the team. I connected with them. And ever since, you know, I tapped into sales. So now being in sales, um, it's just it's something new to me. It was new to me about seven months ago, but I just worked on the gift, still working on it because you have to continue learning. But um, I, I just, but I, I love it. Sales just providing service that they already want. Like, can you sell something to somebody that, you know, that doesn't want it? Like, that to me doesn't make sense. Like, a lot of people have this stigma about sales. I'm not like, you went to the store, you bought what you needed. Did anybody force you to buy something you didn't need? Like, ultimately, right. you had to make a decision. Why were you allowed, why did you let somebody push you to make a decision that you didn't want? Like, that doesn't make sense. To me, it's just educating them on what the service product is. If they can take advantage of it, fantastic. You pay this. To me, that sells. It's like yeah. facilitating so, between the information uh, and the need. Yeah, so what I feel like, you know, sells is it's not more of trying to convince somebody to do something. It's just influencing somebody. So I don't look at myself as like the typical salesperson to try to beg you to do something. If I know you're in position and I know you can do it, what I would do is, you know, talk to you, show you the benefits and just lead you to the solution. You know what I'm saying? Something that can transform your mindset if you put in the work. You put the work in, it will work out. No, I agree with that 100%. So here's entrepreneurship. I feel like so many of us, we don't, we need that routine. I think nine to five kind of keeps us in check. Like we have to do certain things within certain times, all of that. But when you work for yourself, it's more chillax, you know? It's like whenever yeah. I get, so how do we have that mentality of making sure that things get done, but with the freedom at the same time? That's the thing. Cause like when you do work for yourself, it's harder because you know, you don't have that consistent check. Um, so it's like, if I'm not, you know, grinding or closing deals, I don't get paid. So it's just simply adjusting. Like when you, when you work for yourself, you just have to be willing to strive and, you know, grind. Cause if you don't grind, you won't get paid. You know what I'm saying? So um, you just have to shift your paradigm. It's like, you know, tapping in, like reading the books. Like, so I know how do we do that? So give me a couple of things that helped you shift that paradigm for yourself. What were Got a couple it. of steps that you did? Yeah, got it. So um, I um, I had I, I go by this acronym called Savers. So S A V E R S. So you know when I wake up, the S is like silence, meditation, or prayer. But I, I meditate. So I wake up 7 a.m. Right. For example, I wake up at 7 a.m. I might meditate from 7:05 to like 7:15 just to get that you know that that headspace. After that, I go to affirmations. I affirm the good in myself. You know, I listen to it, audio, repeat it, say it out loud. After that, you visualize. I have an, um, a vision board with different things on the vision board that I want to accomplish, you know, the investments I want to see myself into in the future. And then after that, it's the E. So you exercise. I exercise for about, you know, 30 minutes or so, get my heart pumping, feeling good, good mind, so forth. Um, and after that, it's the R. So I read, you know, Think and Grow Rich. Or, but I'm not reading that now. I'm currently reading How to Win Friends and Influence People. So that's the book that I'm – yeah, that's the book I'm currently on. So I read at least a chapter a day school, of that. That's old school, dog. That's old school. 
Yeah, That's yeah, old yeah. school. Only OGs read that. Only OGs read that. Hey, hey. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what I'm tapped into right now. So um and then after that it's scribe. So you know the S, you just work on something that you're your craft or whatever. So if I'm into, you know, sales, I should be listening to Dan Locke or like a Brad with somebody that's doing sales or you know, training you a certain way. So whatever it is, just tap into your craft for at least an hour minimum. And that's just something that I've been doing. And I'm actually about to come out with an ebook on May twentieth with one of my partners, um, talking about, you know, the savers because it can simply transform your paradigm and just help you tap in and become a better person of yourself. How important is it, individuals that are around you? How important is your surroundings? Because it seems like you got good people around you that are cultivating this environment. And I know there are a lot of people out there that have toxic environment around them. Even though if they have the paradigm shift, it's still difficult to get out and do all that stuff. What is your recommended? Because sometimes you just got to get out of the neighborhood. Sometimes you got to leave your family. Sometimes you just got to leave that city. Sometimes it's just leaving that company. Sometimes it's just leaving that center of people you got on Facebook. Some, sometimes it's just like eliminating people on your Instagram. How do you, what, what is your recommendation on surroundings? Yeah, so I, I just simply say, like, you know, it's just about what you want. Like, what's your why? For example, um, we had two close friends, you know, me and one of my partners lost in the gun violence. So that's what made us create our clover line on a Libra. It means uh, one love in German universal love and respect for all people, regardless of race and social status. Um, so simply after that, you know, we just we just knew life is so gentle so we can do something different. Um, and then ever since it just made us like, you know, what do we really want to do? We start, you know, doing shirts and so forth and start getting an idea. Of I never got my shirt. Where's my shirt? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we got we got to tap in, man. After, after I never then. got my shirt, man. I knew my shirt. <laughs> we got I love blue too, so I'm good. I'm good, man. Just, yeah, just, just, just like the one you got right there. There yeah. we go. That's it. Well, I saw you. You had it standing next to the Mercedes. I saw you. You had the whole thing on. I saw yeah, you. Yeah. Don't yeah, think I didn't yeah. check out your Instagram. I checked out your Instagram. Yeah, 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 yep, yep. So I just think it's just you know it's just about what do you really want. You can't be around somebody who's you know leading you in the wrong direction and expect to change your mindset. Um you literally become who you be around. So, you know, if you want to be around other people, just hang around people that's on a higher level. You know, I pretty much serve my way to get around the people I'm around. And, um, you know, just I'm valuable to them when I do certain things for them and just serve, you know, build those relationships and how to win friends and influence people. You just have to, you know, tap in like that. And that's just what I've been doing. And I've just been you seeing the change. You just give, it's just bound to come back. Like, I mean, there might be a delay, a lot of people want to give and get, you know, it, it's not one of those things that happens spontaneously. But to me, it's like if you, I don't think you'll go hungry if you just give. That's the way I feel like. Right. Now, depending on what you don't call, you know, not hunger, I'm not talking about millions of dollars, but I'm just saying like, if you give and keep in mind, those relationships that start by you giving, they're much more long lasting. Right. Right. It's, it's completely different environment. Right. You know, I remember where, you know, I had I had I had influencers sharing on my page when my page had only like 30, 40,000 people on it. And those relationships that I built with those individuals, like now we're like, we're not even on IG. We're like in the text message on WhatsApp. We're like talking, bouncing ideas. But those were like the original people that I started with that are like, yeah, I'm going to put in 30 minutes, give value to your audience. And they didn't ask for anything. So those relationships, I mean, that was like, some of them were like two years ago. And right. we're like good friends, good buddies. All the, Now we know each other's birthdays and stuff. So yeah. those relationships go long term. And, you know, hopefully down the line, it leads to like collaboration and make more money. But I think that's how you get fulfillment in life too. So it's if you make like 50000 and you got that fulfillment, you're still happy. Versus yeah. not having that fulfillment and make a million dollars, you still, you still gonna blow it. You still gonna do stupid shit with it. Yeah, facts, facts. It's the law of obligation. You know, you just you give and you serve. It's definitely gonna come back. You reciprocate. Definitely, just so like where us do you being see on yourself, today. Where do you see yourself in the next couple of years? What's the plan? What's the um, grand vision? Yeah, yeah. So the next couple of years, I just plan on you know invest. I want to invest into like apartment unit complexes. I want to invest into like need based things like a gym, um, just things that my culture haven't been, you know, utilizing, for example, like a Chinese store is in our area, but, you know, it's no, it's no people my color, you know, having that. So it's like, I want to just provide things for the community 
that's like our color and just utilizing it. So, you know, uh, car, car washes, laundry mats, um, apartment unit complexes, you know, with my partners, um, nail salons, hair salons, you know, so forth like that. And I want to also just give back to the less, less uh, fortunate people who can't, you know, afford to do things like this or people who mindset is not where it currently should be. So just, you know, giving them gems and hacks and just trying to, because I'm still working on myself every day. So as I continue to work on myself, I just want to also tell people and share with them that this is possible and just show them as well, like be that big bro, that example. No, definitely. If you said that, I mean, by you just doing it and winning in your life, that's going to already set examples right there. And these days, if you got a phone, you have an internet service, there should be no excuses for you not to make money or not be online, not be educating yourself, you know? Okay. But, you know, to me, it's like, if they need that guidance, you could be that guidance. But I don't like handing things out to people that they are able to do it for themselves. I'm like, listen, right. let me help you get there. Look, I'm going to be part of that journey, but don't be expecting nothing for free. Like, you got to put in the work. Like, do do the put in the effort. You put in the, listen, you go two steps, I'm going to go 10 steps. But you got to meet me somewhere. You got to put some effort. So yeah. I think that's the amazing. And I'm waiting for my T-shirt. So I'm going to send you the address. I want to do it. I want to do a couple of these interviews with the shirt. So okay. that would be good. Okay. And I'm going to I'm gonna put on my vision board. I want to put Philadelphia because I've never been there. So I got to put that on my vision board. So I got to come down, check you guys out, see what you guys are working yeah. on. Because I okay. try to stay in L.A. So I don't want to go on the other side of Mississippi River. I like to stay here. You know, yeah. I got my babies in it. So Is that where you're from? You're from I'm gonna LA? In, I'm going to put in the plan. Okay. You're from L.A.? Just L.A. Okay. Okay. Got it. Yeah, man. I definitely got a shirt for you. Just send me all the information and so forth. We're going to shoot definitely, definitely. But are we able to purchase it online? Like, how do we, how do people go buy it? Yeah. So, we have an, um, clove, we got the website named Analiba.com. So, E I. So, send me the website. I want to support the. Send me the website. I just go buy it for, for myself online so we support the cost. So, I'm okay. cool with it. Appreciate totally fine. I appreciate it. Listen, okay. I want to thank you so much for taking this time and being with us this morning. Hopefully, we can do a lot more. Keep pushing, man. Keep grinding. Let's see what thank we can you. do. Thank you, man. I appreciate it as well, brother. You as well. You got it. Talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye.